Gaius Valerius Catulus was born in Cesar Feingau to a leading equestrian family of Verona. The Catulus family's social prestige permitted Gaius Valerius's father to entertain Julius Caesar when he was the promagistrate of both Gallic provinces. Catulus was raised chiefly by his mother, Blandos, who at a young age introduced him to poetry and the works of Sappho and Callimachus. Catullus's family villa was in Semio, near Verona, and the Catullus himself owned a villa near Tibos's luxurious resort. Catullus was comfortably rich and a member of the Roman aristocratic despite his sporadic complaints regarding his poverty. Catullus's ancient biography did not survive. However, few details may be gathered from other references in the works of his peers or later authors complemented by inferences made from his writings, some of which are certain, some of which are only probable. It is believed that Catullus, based on four of his writings, was born between 55 to 54 BCE and died young, according to the poet Ovid at the age of 30 as stated by St. Jerome. Thus, Valerius Catullus was a contemporary of the statesman Cicero Pompey and Caesar who was elaborately addressed in his poem. He preceded the poets of Emperor Augustus' immediate succeeding era, among whom Horace, Sextus Propitus, Tibullus, and Ovid named him as a poet whose work they recognized. An anecdote written by Roman biography Suetonius, Life of Julius Caesar, indicated that Gaius's family was a friend of Caesar. However, the son nonetheless parodied the future dictator, his son-in-law, Pompey and his agent, the military engineer, Mamura, with credulity that Caesar acknowledged was personally damaging and would leave his mark on history. But when Gaius apologized, an invitation to dinner was extended to him from Caesar the same day and Caesar's relationship with the father continued uninterrupted. It was probably in Rome that the poet fell deeply in love with the lesbia of his poems, which is usually identified as Claudia Metelli. Claudia was a refined woman from the patrician family's noble house, Claudia Porcri, sister of the infamous Publius Claudius Porcia, and wife of the proconsul Quintus Cecilius Metallius Sella. Catullus portrays several levels of their affair in his poems initial euphoria, fears, breakups, and his sad feelings of loss. Claudia had many other partners. No less than five lovers can be adduced from the poems beside Catullus, Ignatius, poem 37, Gellius, poem 91, Quintius, poem 82, Rufus, poem 72, and Lesbius, poem 79. There's still doubt concerning the mysterious death of Claudius' husband in 59 BC. Some commentators say that he was poisoned domestically and despite her apparent aversion to his need, for a meaningful and lasting relationship, a sensitive and romantic Catullus could not relinquish his flame for Claudia. Valerius Catullus wavers in his poems between devout, inflamed love and bitter, scornful insults directed at her blatant infidelity as portrayed in poems 11 and 58. His passion for her is unrelenting, but it remains unclear as to when exactly the couple split up for good. Valerius' poems about the relationship displayed remarkable intensity and psychological insights. Valerius' poems often recorded directly or indirectly a homosexual relationship with a young man named Juventus. The renowned poet also had a political stint on the staff of Commander Gaius Memius serving the provincial command year summer 57 to summer 56 BC in Bithynia. While in the east, he went to the throat to perform burial rites at the grave of his brother, an event reported in a touching poem. Gaius Valerius and his companions, who were regarded as the Novi Pote or the New Poets as followers of Epicureanism, lived their lives mostly isolated from politics, fostering their passion in poetry and love. That said, the poet died at an early age of 30 which indicates a death date of 57 or 58 BCE, according to St. Jerome. The poems of Catullus have been preserved in a collection of 116 camina. The exact number of poems in various versions may vary slightly, 
which can be divided into three sections according to their shape. 60 short poems in different meters called polymetra, 8 longer poems and 48 epigrams. The poetry of Gaius Valerius was influenced by the creative poetry of the Hellenistic age, particularly that of Callimachus and the Alexandrian school which propagated a modern form of poetry known as Neoteric. The new poetry style turned away from the classic epic poetry in the tradition of Homer, consciously concentrating instead on small-scale personal themes, utilizing a rather careful and artistically composed language. Valerius was also an admirer of Sappho's lyrical poetry and often used a meter she had established called the Sapphic Strophe. He wrote, however, in many different meters, including hendiscasyllabic and elegiac couplets. These were commonly used in love poetry. Almost all of his poems shows intense, often wild feelings, particularly about Lesbia, who appears in 26 of his 116 surviving poems. However, he often displays a sense of humor. Some of his poems are disrespectful, sometimes quite obscene sometimes directed at friends turned traitors, other lesbian partners, competing poets and lawmakers. Catullus developed many literary techniques which are still in common use today, such as hyperbatin, anaphora, tricolon, and alliteration. Catullus was deeply inspired by tales from the Greek and Roman mythology as was popular to his period. His longer poems such as 63, 64, 65, 66, and 68 allude to different forms of mythology. Some narratives he refers to are Peleus and Thetis's wedding, the departure of the Argonauts, Theseus and Minotaur, Ariadne's abandonment, Terios and Procne, as well as Protesilius and Laodomia. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'll appreciate if you subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends. We love you.